Welcome to July's members video. As per our last video, Wes will be giving you a course update and Amber a golf and social event update. Before passing to them though, I wanted to say a huge thank you to all the member volunteers who helped out during the first RNA Open Qualifying Tournament. There were some great scores with the winner shooting an amazing 7 under 65. Congratulations to Moor Park members Nick Ward and Owen Benson who shot 5 and 4 under par respectively to secure their spot in the next qualification round. We have also hosted another wonderful Oxford versus Cambridge varsity tennis tournament. The tennis on display was superb and there was a real buzz around the club for the whole weekend. Turning to our staff, I am delighted to advise that we welcomed Cameron Sim as our new head chef last week. Cameron has previous golf and hospitality experience and has many ideas of how to improve and innovate our food offering. We have also welcomed Melanie Bird as our new gardener and Paul Biggs as our new course mechanic. Please do say hello to these new staff when you see them. The third specials menu went live last week and includes three brand new light bites including panko monkfish scampi, duck spring rolls and asparagus with poached egg and parmesan shavings. There is also three new main meals which include a traditional sausage and mash, pan-fried sea bass and roast chicken. The Harry Colt restaurant is also back up and running and available to book via reception. Today we are out on the golf course looking at some general course etiquette at the club and areas that we are trying to improve which you can help the team with. Trolleys, it is a rule at our club that trolleys are not to be taken between the bunker and the green edge on any green. We have several areas on the course where growing conditions are challenging and typically these are also heavy wear routes and playable areas. Previously, we had used white hoops to indicate the heavy wear areas for you to avoid. The hoops have now been replaced with small new posts which we felt are more aesthetically pleasing and also continue to indicate no trolleys or footfall as we try and improve the green surrounds. Bunkers. The raking of bunkers is a hot topic of discussion. The team have recently rotivated the west bunkers to a depth of two inches to break up the compacted sand and produce a more playable area. The high course is regularly checked for sand depths. The faces have two inches and the bases have four. Over time, sand is pushed and pulled from one area to another, creating hot spots and plug lies. We wanted to provide you with a good practice and method you can use when raking a bunker to minimise the movement of sand. When exiting the bunker, we would like to see you raking the sand towards the middle of the bunker as opposed to pulling the sand to the edges. Pulling the sand towards the edge often leads towards plugging of balls on the face and a lack of sand on the bases, where you want to play your shot from. In the dry conditions, we are encouraging members to use the flat side of the rake in the west bunkers. The flat part of the rake moves less sand and produces a smoother surface, which takes less effort. We irrigate the bunkers on the high course, which will require you to use the teeth of the rake in the middle of the bunker and the flat side on the face. Please remember it is important to ensure you are raking towards the middle of the bunker. And finally, the rule at the club is to leave the rake inside the bunker with the hand of the rake pointing towards the tee box. Repairing of pitch marks is also a hot topic and vitally important for the recovery of the greens. An unrepaired pitch mark takes up to three weeks to recover. Unrepaired pitch marks are also susceptible to plantain, a weed growing through them. Before you start your round, it is good practice to ensure not only do you have a ball and tee in your pocket, but a pitch mark repairer too. Future works. The first week of August is our course maintenance week, where the team will pencil time, followed by a heavy top dressing of sand. This continues the good work undertaken in the early part of the year for the plant health. We'll oversee the greens with bent grass in line with our strategic plan and the recommendation from the RNA on the 24th and 25th of August. Now I'm going to pass you over to Amber, who will talk to you about golf and social events. Hi everyone, 
Hope everyone's enjoying their golfing season so far and getting out onto the courses as much as you can. There are only four major competitions left of the year counting towards the Order of Merit. We have the Stage Society Cup, Millennium Cup and the Autumn Silver Medal and the Murray Trophy, so be sure to get signed up to those. Club Finals Day will be on Sunday the 18th of September, so keep that free if you're in any of the knockout finals or think you might be. A short reminder to all members who may be taking buggies out in the late afternoon and early evenings. It is essential that buggies are returned to the pub house and keys to the bar before 8pm every evening. They are very valuable, as I'm sure you can imagine, and it is important our team are able to put the buggies away before closing the mansion. We thank you for your cooperation. We have recently added new range dividers on the top and bottom tees of the range, which look great. Be sure to check them out next time you are here and using the range. We have added an exciting new competition to our calendar this year. This is the Clutch Tour Pro-Am, an opportunity to play with some of the best upcoming and leading professionals on the Clutch Pro Tour here at Moore Park on Sunday the 21st of August. Sign up is on IG, please sign up as a one, two or three and we will join you with a leading pro. It is £60 per member to include breakfast, buffet lunch and great prizes. There's been great uptake already, so book your slot before it gets full. Moving on to social events, Captain's Day was a great success at the beginning of July. We hope you all had a wonderful day in the gardens, enjoying the entertainment and all the wonderful food prepared by our catering teams. Upcoming, we have an alfresco Mexican dining evening on Thursday the 18th of August, which is open now for booking. We also have the wonderful Waterbury Opera hosting an evening here at Moore Park on Saturday the 24th of September. It will be an interactive, fun-filled evening, including two-course meal and interval goodies. Booking is now open. There are limited spaces, so please don't miss out. Hope you're all enjoying the sunshine and I look forward to seeing you at the club soon. Thank you very much to Wes, Amber and Stuart for giving us their update. I'm sure you have found that very useful. As always, thank you so much for watching and we look forward to speaking to you in next month's video.